Hello friends, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is a little bit different than anything I've ever done and I've been trying to do different things to share with you how I am keeping up and using my emergency pantry. And today's video kind of touches on that a little bit, which if you haven't seen that video, I will link it down below along with more emergency meal idea videos that I've created in the past. But I'm slowly creating an emergency pantry and I posted a video on how I started last week and those will be linked down below. But anyways, today's video is more focused on meals and this is something you could put together if you don't have an emergency pantry or if you want to gift this to someone it's the perfect opportunity to do so these meals are no cook options but I'm also gonna share with you the cook options as well but based on whatever you're gonna use them for they have a long shelf life and they're super easy to put together minimal ingredients and I thought this would be really helpful I am someone who when I think of everything it's more in a planning style I can't just have a bunch of food on a shelf it just would not work for me I don't know it's just not how my brain works and I'm not gonna apologize for that because it's who I am so I like more so thinking of meals and one of you all left me a great idea which I had kind of contemplated but I am going to do in the future about creating a recipe binder to use the ingredients in my emergency pantry for because you know exactly how my brain works and I am gonna do that and I'll make sure it is available whenever I create it it'll be downloadable so you guys can snag it too but today it's more a planning option again something that you can use in your own home maybe you want to put these just tucked away in your pantry for a rainy day in case you need them or if you want to give them to someone in need I have four ideas to share with you and I'm so excited so let's get started here's the first no cook meal idea so dehydrated vegetables you guys probably already know this by now but all you have to do to rehydrate these and eat these is let them sit in water for about 40 to 60 minutes no need to actually cook them found that from a hiker that I follow on Instagram because because of course they're gonna carry stuff that's like not weighing a lot, very lightweight, but also nutrient dense. And she suggested these and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna grab a couple of them, put them in my emergency meal pantry and try them out. And maybe crack them open as like a fun dinner sometime. So this is option number one. You're just gonna soak these in water for about 40 to 60 minutes. And then you could do saltine crackers if you wanted to. I took a gluten-free option and decided to do brown rice cakes, which I also have now in my emergency pantry. And you could just have something super simple. One thing she recommended if you're gonna have something that is rehydrated, since it's always gonna be a little bit soggy or mushy to have something crunchy on the side because that's how your palate kind of works. Otherwise, you're going to just get tired tired of mushy food no matter how hungry you are. So I just thought that was a great, great tip to have. But yeah, two ingredients. These are super easy to find. I found them on Amazon, but also I found them at my local Smith's Kroger company store and they have the little vegan seal of approval if you are vegan. I am plant-based, so I found these and I thought they were really great. They also have a ton of different options, which the lady I follow on Instagram suggested too, but they're super lightweight. They're nine ounces, but literally feel like nothing. So if you had to carry them with you, it'd be perfect, but they're a great pantry staple. They're a great emergency staple. And if you had to, you just rehydrate them and have them with something crunchy. But here's how to cook them in case you want to actually enhance this meal. Here is the actual meal, if you will. I'm not cooking anything today, I'm just giving ideas. For the sole purpose that this is going back into my pantry, I'm not gonna crack them open. So, you're going to make these according to the package. You're going to add your water. It does say to, say to add one can of petite diced tomatoes to each package, and each one makes a half gallon and eight servings. So this is this is a lot of food. So we'll just we'll just take one away and say like this is eight servings we're adding on to. So this already has a lot of vegetables in it. It has carrots and peppers and lentils. It has a lot in it. But we're gonna add a can of diced tomatoes, a can of pinto beans, you can drain or rinse these, a can of mixed vegetables just to kind of give it some more bulk. And I think that would add a lot of really good texture to it and then have the rice cakes on the side. And that is how we're going to do our cook option. So again, if you have the means to cook, maybe stovetop, maybe electricity doesn't go out, maybe you're hiking and exploring the world, I don't know. If you need a cook option, this is a great cook option to just really add a lot to it, a lot of nutrients, a lot of flavor, a lot of different textures, so then you're not just stuck with a rehydrated soup. So there's option 
number one. I am super new to this whole pantry prep, emergency pantry lifestyle, and I think it's why I'm so excited about it. I'm very passionate about budget-friendly meals, about becoming debt-free, and I feel like it took me a while to get to here, but uh, after about a month of this, which you guys don't realize the time length has been a month because you just saw my pantry video last week, I'm getting more into this. Something you might not know about me, my dream, which this is gonna sound so bizarre coming from me if you watch a lot of my videos, my dream is when my husband and I retire, we sell our house, we buy an RV, and everything we own is in that RV and we just travel. So there's something that feels right about the pantry situation that I'm excited about, not for the emergency purposes, not for the planning and the prepping, but more so for that like nomad lifestyle. So I recently started following all these hiker accounts and RV accounts and how they store their food and I just like am so on board with it. So like I said today, I have a lot of no cook recipes but I'm gonna share with you how to cook them as well and kind of like add bonuses if you will. But a lot of these ideas came from some hiker accounts that I follow, some blogs that I found and just some really interesting ways to have no cook meals if you have a no cook meal idea leave it down below if you have a pantry prep meal idea that you utilize or one that you've thought of leave it down below in the comments of course sharing is wealth and I love how much you guys just added so much knowledge to last week's pantry video. I am so excited to share with you that Earth Breeze is partnering with me for today's video. You all know if you've been around my channel, I talk about this all the time in my clean with me's and I shared with it in another budget friendly video that I did earlier this year. I do want to quickly add that if you are someone who is creating a prepper style pantry or an emergency pantry, this is an awesome product to have on hand because it's so small, it literally fits anywhere. It takes up no space at all, unlike heavy plastic jugs of detergent. It's just tiny, let me show you. Also, I love my laundry room, so welcome. I was so excited when my brand new package of Earth Breeze came in the mail because this one was almost gone. Another awesome thing about it is it's biodegradable. You could feed this to your plants if you wanted to. As you know, I don't have any house plants, but I might try it outside in my garden with this package is gone but it just rips <laughs> like I've shared that before but it's awesome these also are 100% water dissolvable these are the little sheets that earth breeze creates and they are 100% dissolvable in water it looks like a dryer sheet but it is not it's <laughs> detergent and like I said if you are someone who's creating a prepper style pantry having this as a backup in case of an emergency you just put this in a little spot in your house look how much room this takes up basically nothing since we're talking about emergency meals today i thought i would share that but this is your detergent sheet and depending on what size load that you're doing small medium or large you either use a half sheet a whole sheet or two sheets today i'm going to use a whole sheet because i am washing a load of blankets and towels it's like large wash day and these make my clothes so clean. As you know, my husband and I are athletes, athletes. <laughs> we work out a lot. We have hard, tough jobs. These clean his work clothes so well. I have him use a half sheet every single night when he washes his work clothes. I am someone who's very active. I was training for a marathon and I'm always working out every single day and nothing makes my clothes more fresh. And we use the fragrance free scent because my husband does have some skin allergies and we find this works perfect for him. Earth Breeze got rid of everything wrong with old fashioned laundry detergent, the heavy wasteful plastic, the hassle of lugging those jugs home from the store, or running out of detergent altogether. Their powerful eco sheets look like dryer sheets, but they're not. It's revolutionary liquidless laundry detergent that dissolves 100% in hot or cold water in any type of cycle or machine. It's so easy to use, no measuring, no heavy lifting, no mess, just toss them in. The packaging is compact and biodegradable and plastic free. Their flexible subscriptions can be managed so you can adjust, pause, or cancel at any time without penalty, hidden fees, or extras. They are delivered right to your door for free via carbon neutral shipping in an easy to store lightweight package. Great for all laundry lifestyles, including sensitive skin. The eco sheets are hypoallergenic and dermatologist tested. There's even the fragrance free option, which like I said, my husband and I use. There's a hundred percent satisfaction guaranteed or your money back, no questions asked and no return necessary. Most importantly, Earth Breeze is tough on stains, removes odor, so you still get a powerful clean 
every time. There's no reason not to switch. And as always, EarthBreeze has sent an amazing discount for all of you. Go to earthbreeze.com slash Miranda to get 40% off. That's earthbreeze.com slash Miranda to get 40% off your subscription. A huge thank you to EarthBreeze for working with me on today's video. And now back to a couple more emergency meal ideas. You should have already known this was on its way into this video because I shared about this in my pantry video and since then I've been craving a chickpea salad sandwich if you will and I literally made this for my last video for my lunches. It's so good. I kind of amped it up a little bit, added some more additional things, but this is just the basic no cook emergency meal. You could switch out the dill relish for sweet relish, garbanzo beans, you don't have to drain or rinse, you could just smash them with a fork, some mustard and eat it on some rice cakes or crackers. Saltines is the option that I saw over on TikTok, but I thought, you know what, this is fantastic because it is such a good hearty meal and you have that like soft kind of mushy food with the crunchy and this is a meal I would eat regardless of it's an emergency or not. When I went plant-based, I literally ate garbanzo beans with mustard on bread or rice cakes every day for months because I was obsessed. So obviously this is our no cook option. And then our cook option would be to just make some homemade bread. If you have flour, yeast, and a little bit of water on hand, you can make an entire loaf of bread. You store it in a brown paper bag on your countertop and it's a great option to have. I know a lot of you have flour on hand in your emergency pantries, in your prepper pantries, and it just kind of amps up this meal a little bit. It makes it super homey to have homemade bread alongside it. I know many of you have made this homemade bread before, but if you haven't, I will leave a recipe for my blog down in the description box below. Plus, make sure to check out the description box, not only for Earth Breeze and special discounts, but also just because I'm gonna add all these meal ideas and the items that I used in a blog post, so you're gonna wanna check that out. Option number three, mashed potatoes with green beans and mixed vegetables. Obviously, this is a no-cook option. I know a lot of times people ask me if this is vegan. I don't know exceptionally if it's vegan I do know it's plant-based because there is no milk products in it but I'm not like technical with my terms of what is and what isn't I believe this is is but I don't know for sure but rehydrated mashed potatoes per the blog that I read um, I made notes of this and put it in my excel sheet that I keep with my uh, expiration dates as I told you in my last video but it takes 10 minutes to rehydrate potatoes with cold or even warm water. And again, because it's something mushy, I decided to just add some veggies. You could do beans with it, make it more hearty, but I just wanted to switch it up a little bit with this one. It would be really good with beans, but you have a little bit of texture from the um, vegetables, and this vegetable does have a mix of carrots, potatoes, sweet peas, corn, green beans, celery, and lima beans. So you're gonna get a lot of flavor and texture from that. Also, add nutritional yeast to this. That would be super good. Add that to your emergency pantry, which I'm now making a mental note <laughs> to do for myself. But this is our no cook option. And then let me share with you our cook option. So our cook option is actually going to be to throw the beans in. You could also do lentils if you wanted to, but I'm just doing a can really quickly. But like I said, you could do lentils. And then we're gonna make a shepherd's pie. I've made shepherd's pie here so often on my channel. We love it. It is a great pantry staple for us. And it's a great cook option. So then you don't have a lot of ingredients just mix your beans or lentils with your vegetables and then top with some seasoning your mashed potatoes put in the oven 20 minutes it's delicious and again it's just a great option to have for an emergency pantry shepherd's pie should be in everybody's emergency pantry with flake mashed potatoes a can of veggies maybe lentils i'm gonna do beans from now on just because it's super quick and easy. All right, here is another one is just oatmeal and fruit. And I know this is blueberry pie filling, so there's so many other healthier options you can get. But I got this because my husband loves it and I thought, you know what, I'll throw this into our emergency pantry and if we don't use it in the next six, six months or so, I will make a blueberry bread with it that I made last summer that he loves. But a quick option, you don't need to cook these oats. I get the quick cooking oats because they're my favorite, but I'm pretty sure if you have a different style oat, you could cook it. I just know that the quick oats, you can just let soak for about 15 minutes and then they're good to eat. And then just top with some blueberry filling. And then of course, our cook option is going to be a oatmeal bake. And of course, we should add 
bananas if we have them on hand. My base for oatmeal bake, you could use water instead of nut milk, but it is two bananas, one cup of nut milk, and two cups of quick oats. Mix that up, it is delicious. We make oatmeal bake probably every other week here for breakfast, so if you have the ingredients on hand, if you don't have bananas, no big deal, you could just add some canned fruit instead. Even some applesauce is great to have in your pantry, but we love oatmeal bake. You can make it so many different ways, and I feel like it's super, super hearty, and it's my cook option for this oatmeal because we can't have always have hearty, savory meals. We have to sometimes have hearty, sweet meals. The one nice thing about this baked oatmeal, it's so versatile. You can literally use anything you have on hand. Uh, if you don't want to eat bananas or you can't eat bananas, you can do canned pumpkin, applesauce, sweet potato, zucchini. There's so many different options. You literally just need the base of oatmeal and then you can add water, nut milk, chia seeds, flax seed, fruit, veggies. I've made one with veggies before. It's not too bad. You add some nutritional yeast, some zucchini, a tomato, bake it. It's actually really good. So just keep that in mind. The best thing about these meals is they don't take up a lot of space. That's all the space they're taking up. You could definitely put them in one single brown paper bag. Put this in the back of your pantry, put this in a closet, put this in your garage, put it wherever. You could gift it to someone. And like I said, it takes up no space. <laughs> it takes up no space. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you really enjoyed it. I've been really enjoying kind of digging deeper into this style of meals. And I hope you are excited to see more recipe videos like this in the future, just with different ideas I have. I'm also going to do a whole pantry video, like pantry staple meals, but I'll actually cook them <laughs> um, coming up. I'm working on it already. And I thought that would be really fun since I do more of the meals that are like one ingredient, potatoes, garbanzo beans, black beans, pinto beans. I have all of those here on my channel. I thought this time I would kind of include all of them as more of like a pantry staple video for lunches, dinners, breakfast, etc. It's going to be a long one. I'm working on it and it'll be up shortly. But thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you check out the videos I have linked down below and of course the last few that I just posted if you need more meal ideas. Have an awesome day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.